Hello. I'm very upset right now because I just recorded a vlog and I was like literally done and I was just doing like last minute shoutouts and I was thanking you guys and YouTube cut me off. I was like, oh, something went wrong. Try to reconnect. Question mark. Press reconnect. Shit, doesn't work. And I was like, what the fuck? And I was so sad. And so I just wasted like nine minutes talking. It was like a pretty decent vlog. And I'm sad. But anyways, hey, I'll start again. Hey guys, it's X special. And it's another vlog. Um I was I was done already, but this is very unfortunate. Alright, so um <clears throat> lots to talk about. World is coming up. Um let's see. The last team to get into the world championships was not in sword, they beat out Azubu Blaze and that was pretty upsetting because if you guys remember a couple months ago Azubu Blaze went 5-0 against us at the MLG Summer Arena but in retrospect we weren't as prepared um, we've improved a lot since then we were on a slump um, they played really well and they studied us really really hard and it showed because they really like read us like a book and that was very unfortunate. So I feel that if we were to play Zoo Boys again, we would do better. Uh, especially not getting 5 0 That's uh, very important. But yeah, that was very unfortunate that uh, Blaze didn't make it because people thought they were, oh, these guys beat TSM. TSM beats everyone else. They must be really good. And they are, but apparently, Night and Sword and Frost are just better. So that's very unfortunate for them. And. I know Blaze is really upset, and I mean, I totally understand, so, I mean, I don't know what to say, like, it sucks, so, yeah, unfortunate. And, let's see, oh yeah, the brackets for uh, the World Championships are out, because the last team is decided, and it's noted that, ow, fuck, fuck. Yeah, this fuck. Oh, okay. Oh, anyways. Oh yeah, I forgot to apologize for my hair. Um, yeah, I have bad hair right now. I need to go to sleep. I'll see you go to sleep soon. And anyways. Okay. All right. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, brackets. Um, so Frost didn't get the buy, even though, even though, like, okay. So the five first seed teams. TPA, TSM, M5, uh, World Elite, and Zoo Frost. These teams were supposed to get buys, um, first round buys, and they don't have to go do the group stage. But unfortunately, because there's only four slots, Bright decided to make that last slot, or to make whoever gets shafted done by a random draft, which I think is kind of silly, uh, if you think about it, because they just get shafted like I don't understand why do, do we do that it's just like uh you're just gonna like this, these are teams that tried so hard like imagine if TSM or M5 would uh, be sent to the group stage like we earn our like spot like what the hell is the point of getting first seed if you if you're thrown in the same fucking group as like the third seed like it doesn't make any sense at all so yeah I, I don't know what they were thinking like why would you even go for first seed if, like, like there's so many things I could have went wrong with that. But fortunately, it was Frost that goes there, and they're supposedly the best team out there right now. And in theory, they should go through the group stage with no problem. So I'm not worried about that. I, I'm pretty sure Frost will do well. Um, they will definitely get out of the group stage. Like, I'll be really sad and surprised. Oh, it's not too sad, but somewhat sad. Since they're excited to get out of the boost stage. Like, I want to play against these teams, they're really good. So, yeah. My foot hurts. Uh, let's see. Where else? Hmm. Oh, yeah. So, also the world, Terengar and Syndra will be banned since they're the two newest champions. Rengar is ridiculously OP, and, like, uh, yeah, I don't know what. Like, right? 
buffed him after he was considered OP in EU. So you take an OP champion, you buff him even more, so you get like a super OP champion. So you get like Beta Zinzal. Like, release Zinzal was pretty dumb, right? He was kind of dumb at high level, but he wasn't that dumb when he was first released. Like you take that, and then you go back a step, and it's like, oh, this is a uh, Test realm, Zinzo. It's like three times as strong. Oh boy, let's just release that one out now. And that's so bad. Um, I mean, Rengar is like you can't deal with Rengar. Like if you think about it, he has very few counters. He has a freaking stealth, so and he has a snow item that is ridiculously strong if you can get sex. So on jungle Rengar, you just get the freaking second item. And then you just gank the shit out of mid. It's like Shaco. You, what, what can you do against Shaco? Nothing. Like, you just die. Unless you play like... Like, okay. Comparing Shaco to Rengar, it's like, okay, Rengar has his ult, right? But, okay, Shaco has an earlier stealth that has a jump, but he doesn't do as much damage. He doesn't also have another snare. Uh, Rengar has a one second snare and one second slow, plus he has hella damage. And he can go invis and jump. So, essentially, it's the same thing, except Rengar scales better and also has his own stacking item. And, yeah, I mean, okay, honestly, Rengar is just dumb. Just perma man. Like, I don't want to play normal. It's like, just perma man that shit. Um, Syndra, on the other hand, is like the complete opposite. She has like a 29% win ratio, which is like the lowest by far on Lol King. And that is like, horrendous. You have Eve. Like pre change Eve, it was like a forty something percent. Like okay, that's kinda bad. And then you have like thirty percent would be like stuff like 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 you you make a new champion and it's called a ward. That's all it can do. This ward. Like that it would be your thirty percent. And then you have Syndra. So why why is Syndra not a good ward? Because you can't go in this. So basically, a ward will have high win, win rate. Like, it's kind of bad, dude. It's kind of bad. But fortunately, with Syndra, it's not. Like, you can just buff her numbers. Like, add an extra zero somewhere, and, like, eventually, we will play her again. But right now, she's just really, really weak. So, you know, her Q does, like, 200 something damage. I, I think, level 9. Like, it's add an extra zero, 2000 damage. Now she'll be OP. And just like, you know, just tweak it a little bit, add half a zero or something, and see? So good, I should just like join Riot and like work on these patches all day. Anyways, um, Cinder needs to be buffed, Ringer needs to be nerfed, both won't be at world, so not really important. And then, let's see. Oh yeah, we also lost a CLG in the show match. I'm not sure if it's said this already in this vlog. I know I said it in the last one, but I forget now. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. But non-loud Darius cannot be heard through my mic. So Darius is being very soft today. I don't know why. Usually he's a lot louder. Usually when he's streaming, it's like, oh, I can't even hear you anymore, Xpecial. I can only hear Darius. It's like watching Darius on Xpecial stream. It's like, oh boy, Darius might as well have two streams. So, anyways. Darius is saying, it was really late, it was at like 12 our time, they kept postponing it, it was supposed to be at 7 or even earlier, I forget, I think it was at, it was at 3, could it be? I don't remember, but I remember setting it up and I was like, oh, or I think it maybe 7, but anyways, it's supposed to be really early, yeah, it was at 7 our time, and then it kept getting postponed and postponed, and then it ended up starting at 12, so basically it was at midnight for us, and we were like, oh, Oh, that's great. Ottoman's like, I'm so tired, guys. I'm so tired. I'm getting old. I need sleep. I mean, that's Ottoman, right? He has to get up early at like uh, 7, 8 in the morning just so he can stream for you guys. So he was naturally tired at 12. Like, he's been up for a whole, the whole day. And we've been scrimming too, so that doesn't help. Um, and so the old one was just really tired. And then we were all tired, and just, we just didn't perform. And CLG played really, really, really well. Well, sort of. Um, we just played really, really bad. And that's kind of unfortunate. 
that the show magic was kind of meh, but it happens. So we're not like, oh, we don't think that COG is better than this, because we're pretty much the Thai C, T, C team and we're like supposedly the best. So we don't, like that show match for us wasn't like, oh, COG is better than us. We had to practice really, really hard. We had to practice really hard anyways, but we don't feel that COG, if we were to play them on land, that we would lose that hard. So yeah, that was very unfortunate. And all right, I think that's it for this week. Not sure what else I have. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, I think I already apologized for my hair, but apologize for the hair. No, it just went to sleep mode. Okay, it didn't close. Okay, thank God. I'd be so sad. I'd reconnect. I'd be like, I hate this game. Clips on games, YouTube. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. Uh, big thank you to our sponsors: Razor, Gunners, SoloMid.net, and Champion Select. Yay! All right, thanks guys. Bye. Wait, let me think. Is that, is that it? Okay. Okay. Bye.